Hi guys, it is Tamara. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the cost benefit analysis. And I think that this is going to be rather helpful for you. It's going to be a short video. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys just a, a, a foundational understanding of what a cost benefit analysis is and how to do it the correct way so that you can use it as a coping and deciding skill. So thank you so much for coming back to my channel for those who are subscribed. And for those who are new, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button so that you can stick around with us on our validating and educational channel. The benefits for you in today's video is that we're gonna talk about a cost benefit analysis and kind of what that is, because a lot of people are like, what the heck is that? But really, it's as simple as weighing the pros and the cons of a decision. So when you are trying to make a decision, and especially when you're split on an issue, or you know, you're not quite sure how to think or how to feel about something, or like we talked about this week, you know, trying to understand and 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 swim through your cognitive distortions, your thinking errors as we call them. When you're going through those kind of scenarios, it's important to be able to weigh the pros and the cons and to do it appropriately and correctly as well. If you try to weigh the pros and the cons just by thinking it through, you're most likely to miss some things that you visually need to see. I think it's important to have a an idea, but to also be able to visualize it and see it on paper. Um, that's why if you come to me as a client um, or as a patient, one of the things that I like to do is I, I like to give you paper, pens, Sharpie markers, whatever, pencils, and I get you to engage with me um, and interact with me using paper and pen. And so I like to engage all of the people that see me, uh, depending on their style and so forth, age, limitations, all of that in activities that require you to write things down and to process as you write things down. There's something powerful about written expression, right? There's something pow powerful about putting your thoughts down on paper and being able to look at something and, and, and just kind of say, okay, well, this is what I said here, but this is what I said here, and how do I make this work? So being able to visualize what's on your paper, what's in your mind, what's in your heart, what's in your soul, I think there's a powerful component to that. So I really do like to, you know, provide, you know, clients, patients with paper and pen. I think it's it's very powerful. So in today's video, I want to walk you through what a cost benefit analysis is. Okay, I'm going to show you how I, I do this. Okay. So a cost benefit analysis, you can kind of look at it as a scale. Okay. And you really want to consider things in such a way that you're tipping the scale in the positive direction. Okay, the pros outweigh the cons. You don't want to look at, you know, the scale and say, okay, things are equalized because it, because it's not right, you have to make a choice. Um, you also don't want to look at the scale and say, um, okay, so the cons really aren't that much compared to the pros. That's neither here nor there. The purpose of a cost benefit analysis is to allow yourself to look at if the the pros and the cons are equal in terms of worthiness so what I mean by that is if if I go with the cons I'll put it this way if I go with the cons is it really worth it right if I go with the pros is it really worth it is it really worth what I'm gonna have to go through if I go along with the pros or if I go along with the cons. Okay, that's really how you wanna look at this. You want to, you don't wanna look at your list and say, well, I have 20 pros and like 10 cons. That's not what we're doing. What you want to do is ask yourself, are the pros you know, uh, worth all the issues that I'm gonna have to get to just to have them? Are the cons really worth everything I have to go through to have it, right? That's the question you want to ask yourself. So you want to start with that. So when you're getting ready to do a cost benefit analysis on a piece of paper, I encourage my clients to write, is it worth it? Okay. Is it worth it? That's what you want to write on your paper. Sorry, this is my kiddo's clipboard. Um, is it worth it? Okay. So once you write that down, Okay, you want to do a cost benefit analysis and it can be very simple, right? You can do one side cons and one side pros. Okay, one side cons, one side pros and go ahead and start writing down the, the pros and the cons. So an example of this would be, um, okay, uh, I'm getting married. 
or to use this as an example, I'm getting married and my father hates my wife-to-be, all right, if you're a man out there. Um, and because your father hates your wife-to-be, you're not sure if you want to invite him to the wedding. You don't want any chaos. You don't want any family drama. You just want a peaceful wedding for you and your spouse, right? Your soon-to-be lifetime partner. So what's the, what's, the, what's the pros to inviting dad? Well, he could get over it. Okay, so you want to start listing stuff. He could get over it. Um, there's grandchildren he's probably going to like, right? That's a good one. There's um, uh, family spirit, right? During weddings, you start to kind of feel like, hey, we're family here. Um, uh, the beauty of the wedding, okay? So beauty of the event. Um, what else would be a, a, a pro? Um, let's say he didn't have to pay for anything, so it's a free ride. Okay. Um, you know, there's a, there's, there's a lot of other pros, right, that, that, that you could use um, and that you could put down. All right. The cons might be he's going to ruin everything. Okay. Another con is he'll never talk to you again. So he will, I'm just going to put abandon you. Right. Um, he could get depressed. Um, he could um, uh, neglect to respect your spouse, right? Okay, so you want to start writing all this stuff down, okay? Here's how you want your cost-benefit analysis to look. Now, you don't want to look at this and say, okay, well, I have five cons and, and, and two pros. You want to look at this and say, and ask yourself, the cons, um, well, if I go with going ahead to marry the spouse, right, um, is, it, is it really worth me getting upset? Um, is it really worth me, I'm sorry guys, that's my office phone, um, and I do not need to answer that, so. Uh, but you want to be able to ask yourself, is it really worth me ruining our relationship for a long time? Is it really worth that, right? Is getting married really worth me ruining that relationship? The next is abandonment, right? Is it really worth it for my dad to abandon me? Is it really worth it? Do I really need to marry this person so bad that I'm okay with abandonment, okay? The next thing you want to do is, do I really want him to be depressed? Do I really want that? Then you want to go to the, con the the pros. I'm sorry. So once you're done with the cons, you want to go back to the pros and you want to say, well, what's the likelihood that he's going to get over this? Well, let me just consider his temperament, you know. Let me consider the fact that he may not be a part of his grandchildren's life. He may abandon me forever, right? Then you want to look at this and say, yeah, but grandchildren may come into the mix. And so he may be okay with that. That may totally wash away his doubt, right? So you really want to methodically and strategically go down this list, right? You want to be able to explore the pros and the cons. And I encourage you to get somebody who's a who can kind of help you make sense out of things. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for being with me today in this video. I encourage you to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comment section below and we'll do more activities like this in the future. I, I really do intend on giving you guys more skills this year and offering some free therapy via YouTube as ideas come to me or as the subject permits. So let me know what you're thinking about this kind of stuff in the comment section below. I will see you guys on Monday with a brand new video. Bye.